Hello Capricorn, Bunny here and we are going to do your bonus love read. Oh my gosh, it's been a day Capricorns. Alright, so welcome to my space of love and, and, and healing and spirituality and all that good stuff. I'm tired. My kids woke me up at 4 a.m. today. I'm tired. And it is, let's see. Ooh, 6.21 p.m. <laughs> oh, man, I'm already ready for bed. But we're going to get your bonus read out of the way, okay? All right. Um, what deck am I starting out with? I think we're going to start out with the Light Seer's Tarot. What happened to my cloth? It just moved. All right, I need to get some of these decks out of the way real quick because <clears throat> the space is cluttered. Oh, I got a sound. I got to clear your um, space. So I just saved yesterday. So the energy is fresh. It was one on one on my camera. All right, one second. All right, let's go. All right, we are reading now for Capricorn. This is y'all's bonus love read. Look, it was on the deck as soon as I cut it. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a doozy. <clears throat> So I'm not using the same decks that I did for Aquarius's love reading. I chose y'all some brand new decks that, well, they're not brand new, but they're decks that I haven't used in a really long time. And I'm excited. <clears throat> so what does um, the person who is watching Capricorn, whoever's watching, what do they need to know about this connection with the person on their mind, okay? What do they need to know about this connection? That was a fucked up shuffle. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Let's rock and roll. Oof. I can't even shuffle today. Oh man. Is my crystals even straight? What is going on here? Let me fix this. <laughs> I'm all sorts of all over the place you can tell I'm tired let's put this one right here it's my Amazonite for my money for those of you that don't know Amazonite draws in money this is for this is amethyst it's for calm um, peace healing it's one of the most powerful healing stones did my camera just fall over hold on what is going on today? Sorry about that. My camera just acted a damn fool. <laughs> it just tipped over. It's on the tripod stand. And it's still tipped over. I don't know what just happened. That was weird. Some of y'all about to fall right in love. That's what that means. There are no accidents. That's how I interpret it. About to fall face first in love and not even... You don't even realize it. Five of Wands. So that's some kind of fighting and conflict. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna get some cards out to see what's going on. And then whoa, that flew out. Hanged man. Because I need to know how to interpret these depending on how the cards fall out. So I need to. All right, so somebody was fighting this connection, okay? That's what's going on. They were fighting the connection, and there was a significant pause while they were trying to figure out if they wanted to go forward with this. And then there was a sudden change of hearts, and one or both of you were open. So the Five of Wands is about conflict. So it's either internal conflict, like something going on within you, or conflict outside of you all right it feels like conflict w within you though like inside of you and you know it makes sense because if you have conflict inside of you it can also turn into conflict outside of you like whatever you're going through in you know internally can show up and and out there i cannot talk can show up in your external as well but it feels more internal because the hanged man shows me that there was like a pause 
while everyone was trying to figure out what was going on, right? There was no movement in this connection for a while because someone was fighting fighting off feelings, okay? And then we have the Queen of Cups, which shows me that one or both parties decided that they wanted to be open to this connection, okay? And it looks like the feminine counterpart because the Queen of Cups represents a feminine. Oh my gosh, what is happening? This card just flew out, the Ten of Cups. Ooh, so this is a pretty good connection, Capricorn. It's not... Considering the way the Ten of Cups just... It's funny because I went to shuffle and that card just fell out. It didn't even... It didn't even fly out. It just fell. <laughs> like, but it fell out of my hand in a way that, like, let me know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it it was like, pick me. Like, it flipped over and fell. Um... <clears throat> And again, we get the whole um, falling concept. Ace of Swords. See? So if there was no communication, the Ace of Swords shows me that your person is going to have some kind of an aha moment. They discover something about this connection. And so they're going to come forward with some kind of communication, right? They have some kind of realization moment. Two of Pentacles. Ooh, King of Wands. So for some of you, it's a masculine fire sign, okay? Doesn't matter what gender you, um, you know... It doesn't matter what gender you consider yourself, right? It's about the energy, okay? So, King of Wands is fire sign. It's Aries, Leo, Sag, right? This is what's coming out as the, the divine masculine counterpart. So, the feminine is showing up as the Queen of Cups, which is, you know, water sign energy, which is Cancer, Scorpio, I can't remember the other water sign. Is it Aquarius? No, that's air sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's the other water sign. Um, you know, and yes, this is this is Capricorn read. So the feminine is showing up as as the Queen of Cups, which means she's open and receptive. But your your masculine energy is showing up as the King of Wands. They could be a Leo because there's the lion on there. So this person has spent a lot of time trying to manifest you. They've been doing a lot of manifesting, right? Trying to take things from the ether and put it into existence. But they spent an awful lot of time trying to manifest things in their love life, specifically in their love life. And they're very passionate about you in this connection. Can we get one more of these cards and then we're going to move on, please, Spirit? They're super passionate about you. The fire coming off of this King of Wands is absolutely insane. Five of Cups. So either you or this person had to let go of something recently. Okay? Let's figure out what that is. But they don't feel bad about it. This is my Five of Cups card where it's like, if you look at the card, it's like, she let that cup go, right? But her foot's still in it. She's very nonchalant. She doesn't care that she had to let go of that cup. Cup. She's actually like quite happy about it, right? She's like, well, I let go of what is no longer serving me because I'm going to make room for what will serve me. You know what I mean? It's not like a, this feels bad type of letting go thing. It's like she knew it was necessary, right? Okay, tell me more about this Five of Cups card, please. Why are these cards not shuffling today? So weird. Tell me more about this Five of Cups, please. Three of Pentacles. So, the Divine Feminine had to let go of a connection recently because there was... The connection was not a real connection, right? 
she knew the connection wasn't for her because there was third party energy. Meaning whoever she was, she had put energy and started to invest energy into, they already had another option. And when the Divine Feminine find, found out, she was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> She's like, I don't think so. <laughs> this ain't that type of party. She was like, nope. See, it's a man. He's got two options. And maybe she discovered she was one of those options. options and that's why it was so easy for her to let it go. And then here you come, the King of Wands. And you're like, you're my only option. And then so she's like, okay. <laughs> Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this connection. So one person's loss is another man's, you know, gain, right? Basically, is what's coming out here. Hallelujah. All right. What else? What do the romance angels have to tell us about this connection? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? Oh, <laughs> healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right, so you are doing some family healing at this time. Just because you are healing family trauma doesn't mean that you have to speak to them again or... Um, it doesn't mean that you have to let them know that you forgave them. Forgiving them is for you so that you can move forward, so that you can feel good about claiming your blessings. It does not excuse anything that they may have done to hurt you, Capricorn. And it does not mean that you have any obligation to let anyone back in at all if they have been toxic to you, period. Can I just say that? Passion. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Wow, I told you. Remember I said this King of Wands energy feels very passionate. Whoever this person is, they have dreamed about you at night. And not like dreaming. I mean, you may be in their dreams, I don't know. But I'm saying like they fantasize about you at night. They think about wild, wild thoughts <laughs> about you, Capricorn. So we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So either you or your person might have some problems with some codependency that you're working on clearing out right now. That's okay. We all have things, right? Ooh. But look, it doesn't matter because either way, it's it doesn't stop their attraction for you. Look at this. We have attraction. We have passion. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So... You're probably, when you're doing the healing, the family issues, it's also helping you to cure this codependency, right? It's all hand in hand. But because you're focused on your own healing, see, you attract romance, romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You're doing your own thing and you're busy taking care of yourself and focused on your healing and this is irresistible to this person that's why they want you so bad capricorn that's exactly why what else do we need to know about this connection please We have Sagittarius. So for some of you, it literally is a fire sign. I said Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, remember? Could be a Sagittarius. <clears throat> or they have Sagittarius in their chart somewhere. Or they just act like a Sagittarius. We have Gemini. So this could be also something that's in their charts. Or Gemini could also represent twin flame. Because it, Gemini is the twins, right? Their Venus could also be in Gemini. We have tattoos. So take that as it resonates. Your person probably has tattoos. Or you do. Either way, 
that's a sign that this reading is for you, right? Let's do one more, please. And then we have Cancer. Man, there is a lot of signs here. Cancer. So either your person has... So look, this is this could be a bunch of different stories. Your person could either be a Sagittarius for some of you. For some of you, your person's a Gemini. For some, it's a Cancer. Or they have some of these in their chart. So... If any of these signs resonate with you, then that means this reading is for you. Yes, we're talking about your person, okay? And look on the bottom of the deck, the answer is yes. It says, crazy, I don't know why I felt guided to look at that, but I did, so. All right, we're going to move on to, actually, do I want to do this deck? Yeah, we'll do this one. All right, we're going to move on to the Love Oracle and see what the Love Oracle has to say, okay? Okay. For a lot of you, though, I feel like your person will be a fire sign. It feels, your first person feels very fiery. Look, I told you they were going to communicate soon. We have truth. So they've stumbled upon their truth. They know what their truth is. And the truth is, they have this, this connection with you. They can't deny it anymore, right? <clears throat> See? Look at that. They, there's too many signs and synchronicities that point to you. There's their truth. That's why they realize it's you. There's something that happened that pointed right to you. You're their truth. For some of you, they might need some liquid courage. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, you get a drunk text or a drunk call. You know, they drunk dial you to say, oh, you know what? I think you're my person or I think you're my twin flame or I think you're my soulmate or something <laughs> because you scare the shit out of them. They don't know how to approach you. They're like, this is a total different type of vibe. They're not used to you. Oof. See, look at that friends. So some of you already know who this person are, or person are. I can't talk today. What is going on? I must be tired. Some of you are friends already with this person and they want to be more than friends. And then for, you know, some of you, it's going to be this person is going to give you a drunk text or a drunk call after they spend a night out with friends drinking, right? It doesn't matter what, I mean, it could be, you know, this is your feminine that's going to do this because, you know, it's two feminines here. Maybe she's out with her girlfriends, right? Or it, most likely it's going to be the, your masculine though, Okay. Ooh, look at that. And they watch your show, show, show media. If you got social media, they're watching it. For real. Look at this. Romantic feelings. They are all sorts of crazy about you. Oh my gosh. Capricorns. Capricorns. They love the Capricorn. All right, one second. I need some water. Okay, I'm going to go on to the Bodhi Tarot and see what it has to say. I think we're only going to take two of these, please, sir. What do we have here? All right. It says resentment or anger is blocking your heart chakra. Forgive and let these feelings go. Listen to 528 hertz. All right. So 528 hertz is a music frequency that you can use to open your heart chakra. Um, if you're holding on to anger and resentment, maybe, you know, it feels like, you know, how you're healing the family trauma. There's something in regards to your family that is creating this heart chakra blockage because of a lot of family trauma. It feels to me, Capricorn, like maybe you feel like your family doesn't understand you. They don't understand your past. They might judge you a lot. And this causes a lot of resentment. And what happens when we hold on to that resentment in our heart, it can grow and it can block our heart chakra, which can block our person, you know, um, coming in towards us because everything comes into us and into our lives through our heart chakra. It's one of the main chakras that needs to stay open for us to receive, okay? Okay. So if you go on YouTube and Google 528 Hertz and look up, you know, meditation music at 528 Hertz, 
It's going to really help you, my beautiful Capricorns, okay? Okay, what else do we have? Being grateful for all that we have leads our hearts to overflow with abundance. Give thanks for the things you have and watch your life change. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're already doing that. Um, showing gratitude for everything, like the little things, you know, um, for the air that you breathe, for the clothes that you put in your beautiful mouth, for the love that you already have, you know, from other people um, is going to really help more blessings to come to you because a grateful heart is a bountiful heart. The universe goes, oh, this person is grateful for this and for that and for this. So then they send you more of what you're grateful for. So showing gratitude allows the universe to bless you with even more goodness. Okay. All right. So if you want more love, um, then, you know, all you got to do is be grateful for the love you have right now. All right. So I want to do a few of these Kill Yourself cards because... I haven't used this deck in forever, and I think it's really beautiful. I love the artwork. It's so nice. All right. So what else do we need for um, Capricorn to know about this beautiful connection? What else does Capricorn need to know about this connection, please? Oh, man. Look at this, Capricorn. We have number four, sexuality. Oof. Oof, look at that. I got to cover that because that's booty, but... Oh, man. You are in for some wild times. So I told you that your person was really passionate. They're very attracted to you. Oh, man. You are in for some really... I, I don't even know how to say this and not get banned on YouTube or to get shadow banned or, like, censored. Let's just say you're in for some really wild times. Like, the energy coming off of this card and off of um your person right now remember i i literally said this is this is why i love i love what i do because i just was talking about how i said this person dreams about you and i said like not they might dream i don't know they might dream about you like actually dream about you right but i was saying they're they daydream about you they daydream about doing things with you sexually and there's the sexuality card you cannot make it up. Oh my gosh. And there's a snake at the bottom. It's a cobra and it's in striking position, which tells me there is a lot of, um, so the snake represents very, very strong sexual feelings. Okay. The snake represents sexuality and sensuality. Oh my gosh. Unleash your creativity. 31. Oh, it's number four again. Look at that. So the angels right now are helping you to unleash your creative side, okay? Something about the way that you create is going to draw this person into you even closer. Like I see you doing something and I see them being unable to stop themselves after they see something. That you create, if that makes sense. I know it sounds really off the wall, but that's what I'm seeing. Like, I'm seeing that something something that you create is going to touch them in a way that they've never been touched. And it's just going to drive them to their, their breaking point, right? But it's all divinely orchestrated by your angels. We have two angel cards. There's three and one is four, and that's four. She's got like a steampunk outfit too. So some of you might be into like steampunk or like the steampunk trend or music. So that that's how you'll know also it's for you. Look at what is on the bottom of the deck. Oh my God. Look at these two cards on the bottom of the deck. Stop. We have love, number 28. It's 10. And then 33, sexual arts. Again, I told you. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to have like some crazy like tantric sex. This is a very spiritual connection. This is not your guys' first rodeo. The reason you felt so strongly drawn to this person is because you guys, you guys have a connection. Like you've had this connection before, possibly in other lives. 
Feels very twin flamey. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't have anything backing that up, but it just, it just does. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna assume anything. I'm just I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I'm gonna pull from the psychic tarot of the heart. And then I'm going to pull from the gray stack and then I'm going to end with a roomy card, okay? So, what else do we have for Capricorn in regards to this connection? What else can you tell me about Capricorn's connection with this person? Look at that, win or lose. It's five of swords. So, this person is literally... Again, we have the five of swords, which is the energy of conflict. So they might have been holding this back for a while. They were fighting with themselves. Okay. Someone was, and it's because they, oh my God, look at that. It's a sword that's fucking Excalibur too. Oh my God. I'm done. I just remembered something that somebody said to me about Excalibur on one of my comments. She knows exactly who I'm talking about, too. Oh, my gosh. I, I have chills. Look at this. My I have chills. Can you can you see my chills? I don't know if you can. It's too blurry. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, one of you is holding back in this connection because they were afraid if they went all in that they were going to lose you. They were like, I, I can't stand if I put all my cards on the table and this person rejects me it was it was too painful of an idea but now the thought of not having you at all and losing you because they don't come forward so now they're in this attitude of win or lose i can't fight this anymore right it's too hard thank you spirit for clarifying that let's get two more cards from here holy shit so this is four of swords, just breathe. So spirit is asking you to rest and take care of yourself at this time, right? Do some meditation and do some self-reflection, okay? It's going to bring you a whole lot of peace and patience while you're waiting for everything to sort of unfold because it will, oh, it will. But I feel like, you know, you might be feeling a little bit impatient because you're just like, what the frick is a hold up? I don't blame you. Number 19, shine. Oh, man, look at that. See, it's your soul shine. They can't get enough of it. 19, I think that's the world card. I'm pretty sure. It's a major arcana. I don't know this deck. So I have to look up what. Is 19 the world? I don't even know. No. Let me see. Oh, it's the sun card. Oh my God. How did I not know that? That's Leo. Oh my gosh. The affirmation that goes with this card is I shine my light out into the world and joyfully attract all that I desire. So, yes, there's this amazing energy surrounding you right now. This is the happily ever after card. This is getting everything that you want and that you deserve. This card, even when it's upside down, it still means joy and happiness. Like, there's no reversal for it. That's how good the sun card is. It's Leo energy, but it's also fire sign energy in general so you're giving off this energy of like a fire sign your heart light is on fire right your soul is shining and that's why this person is irresistibly drawn to you right you're like surrounded in this bubble of love and light and they just it's it drives them crazy. Look, her she's literally surrounded by bubbles. There's light pouring out of her chest. And there's a freaking heart at her feet. Look at that. She's just, she's glowing. You know what? It's really weird, but this energy feels very Celtic, like Irish. I don't know if that has anything to do with you or if it's going to resonate. But with her red hair, like, it feels, I feel like this Irish energy, like Irish descendants coming out too, if that makes sense. Um, 
for some of you, I'm hearing like, this is your Irish ancestors. They're helping you in this connection. They're leading you. That's not going to resonate with, with everyone. It's very specific and I don't know who it's for, but it came out. So I'm, I'm just saying it. Okay. So I'm going to do a grace card and then we're going to end with the Rumi Oracle. Okay. What else do we got? Four are beautiful Capricorns. So if you have Irish ancestors, then you'll know that that's for you. I don't know. Okay. Came out loud and clear. Ooh, sorry. Almost dropped the deck. Okay, can we get one grace card for Capricorn, please? I need to know. This deck is very, very hard to shuffle. Oh my god. Alright, we have believe. Believe it and it shall be. As it is, so it is. And so it is. And so it is. When we marry intention with action, miracles happen. Who's ready for a miracle today? I know I am. Miracles happen every day. Let me say that again. Miracles happen every day. One more time. Miracles happen every day. If you're ready for a miracle, Capricorn, you have a miracle coming in regards to this connection. Whatever you thought wasn't going to happen is going to happen. Claim it, believe it. Believe it with every ounce of your heart and pull it into your life with your beautiful open hearts and your beautiful shiny, sunshiny energy, okay? Bring it into existence. Where is my roomy duck? <laughs> oh, it's right here. <laughs> like where? So we're going to end with the Rumi Oracle. I love the Rumi Oracle. It's it's beautiful. And it's very poetic and I love it. So after this, I will be reading for Gemini, doing their bonus read and then I'm going to start um the individual signs and I will might probably throw in some other reads like is this your story maybe another general love read we'll do another you know how does your person feel about you all signs read and all that okay all right last card for Capricorn oh look at that sacred soul sister number 37 add it up again and it's 10 7 and 3 is 10 so, you have some kind of new beginning coming in with this love. 37. I'm going to read some of this from the book. Because I love the way, I love these poems that they put in here. Usually I just read like the poem part because it's so beautiful. Passion of the, oh, that's not it. Wrong one. Ooh. But there's that passion again. See, there are no accidents. 37, Sacred Soul Sister. When you are conscious, a cloud of sadness surrounds you. When you are beyond consciousness, the moon rests in your arms. When you are conscious, the beloved moves out of your reach. When you are beyond consciousness, the ecstasy of love moves your way. When you are conscious, you are depressed like fall. When you are beyond consciousness, the winter cold feels like spring. All your wavering is due to your longing to be stable. Look for instability until you become stable. Wow, that's beautiful. I love you. I am your other self. I am with you always, your partner on this soul journey. I am the you that you do not see. I am the you that speaks through intuition and instinct. I whisper and sing and shout my crazed truth telling to you through your dreams, through your body. I am the you that is wise, that trusts in life, that knows. I am the you that sees reality rather than appearance. I am the you that knows how to be happy and free. 
Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. I, <laughs> oh my gosh. So we're going to go ahead and end on that beautiful note. And I hope that something resonated with you, my beautiful, beautiful earth sign Capricorns. Um, if something resonated, please go ahead and thumbs up the video. It really helps me to grow my channel. Comment if you'd like to. Share if you'd like to. That also helps my channel. Subscribing. It's completely free. Subscribing, liking, sharing. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. I love you. Bye.